guys, it's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to bring you a bookshelf tour. I have rainbow shelves at the moment, but I'm going to be getting rid of them soon, I think, because I can't find anything. The reason I made the bookshelf tours was because I was mourning my grandma and everything has to be neat and organized and colors seemed the most neat and orderly manner that I could organize my bookshelf. I really do like them, I just can't find anything and my series are all separated and well, you know. But for those of you who enjoy rainbow shelves, I thought I'd give you a rainbow shelf book tour. Not all of these colors are absolutely perfect. I'm gonna tell you that right now because just uh, they've gotten moved around in the past couple weeks. If you don't like rainbow bookshelves and they irk you, this probably isn't the video for you. Come back, I'll do another bookshelf tour when I've gotten some more books, probably towards the end of the year. You can go check that one out. Or you can check out my bookshelf tour from last year. I have accumulated a lot more books since then, but at least it's not rainbow shelves, so it can't annoy you. So without further ado, because this is going to take forever to record and edit, let's just get started. So these are my bookshelves. And what I wanted to start off by saying is that these bottom two shelves here, where these black boxes are, um, these are some like um, journals and crafting books. And these are like school books. And down here are games. I'm not gonna do these last two shelves, I have a separate game shelf tour that I will link for you above and these school books are mostly theology books if any of you are interested in that it's in my last bookshelf tour and these are just nothing, nothing really interesting they're just my journals so um it's just gonna be these four top four shelves. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say I'm sorry for the weird angles that my camera is gonna have for the first couple shelves because my tripod doesn't really go up very high. So we're gonna start off with the very top of my bookshelf. So this top shelf are all things that have either been given to me for a specific reason or a memory that means a lot to me. So I'm gonna run these through these quickly. I'm not gonna pull anything off the shelves because they take me forever to put back up because I'm really not that tall. And so first off we have The Velveteen Rabbit by Marge Williams Bianio. We've got The Twelve Gifts of Birth by Charlene Costanzo. We've got Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney. This is a little Velveteen Rabbit animal. This big bear over here is a bear that my mom made me from a blanket that was my grandma's. This is a memory bear from my grandma passed away. And then we have some of these little willow tree figurines. This one is Courage and this one is close to me. I was given these both for my mom for specific reasons. This is just a cup that has my bookmarkers and we have another copy of The Velveteen Rabbit. This first shelf is one of the ones with weird angles. Uh, over here in the corner are my husband's Star Wars books. I'm not going to pull all these out. They are exactly the same as the ones that I did in my last video. So if you are interested in Star Wars books, you can go check out this one. This one is the little mug that I have all of my quarterly reading challenge books in. First up is a book that I didn't really know where to put because of its weird colors and that is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Then we start off with The Whites, Alondris, The Final Empire, The Ways of Kings Part 1, and Steelheart All by Brandon Sanderson, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms All by Sarah J Maas, Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, Beyond the Shadows, Shadow's Edge, and The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks, Leaving Time by Jodie Picoult, Moving on from the white slowly into the grays. Stay With Me by an author whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Lone Wolf by Jody Picoult. Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. This Savage Song. An Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. Worlds of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Never Night and God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. The Bad Things by Mary J. Riley. Clockwork Angel. Clockwork Prince. And Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Divergent by Veronica Ross. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hauck, Mistborn The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Perfect Match by Jodie Pico. Moving down here towards the blacks, we have Written in Red by Ann Bishop, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan, and I Darken by Kirsten White. The 25th Anniversary Collector's Edition of Star Wars 4, 5, and 6 by George Lucas. An Echo in the Bone by Diana Gabaldon. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows by J.K. Rowling. The Complete Collection of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. Once Upon a Dream and As Old as Time by Liz Roswell. These are actually books that I'm borrowing currently. They are not mine. The 17th Edition of the Medic Manual. <laughs> Don't ask. Valiant by Holly Black. 
Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. The Lies My Teacher Told Me About Christopher Columbus by James Lewin. This middle shelf here is where we slowly start moving from black to red. Starting off with Winter by Marissa Meyer. The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. The Spiderwick Chronicles The Seeing Stone by Holly Black. Live by Night by Dennis Lehane. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, and Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Here we've got the reds that slowly fade into the oranges. Starting off with The Holy Bible, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, Safely Home by Randy Alcorn, The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien, Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden, A Legion by Veronica Roth, The Wednesday Letters by Jason F. Reich, the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, The Elite by Kira Katz, Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, A Torch Against the Night by Sabat Sahir, The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carl Collati, Star Wars The Dark Lord, The Rise of Dark Vader by James Lucino, Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon, and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the part of the rainbow that I'm least happy with. These are like the sort of brownish colors slowly fading into the beige and the yellow. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. Every Heart a Doorway by Shonda McGuire. The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Lord John Grey and the Hand of Devils by Diana Gabaldon. Iscariot by Tosca Lee. Broken Flowers, a commentary of the tragedy of sex slavery in America by Pasco Manzo. Here I have two copies of The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. The Holy Bible in Dutch. Bibi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Sahir. The Forgetting by Shannon Cameron. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Fall of Giants by Kent Follett. The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North. The One Year Bible Commentary. Written in My Own Heart's Blood by Diana Gabaldon. The One by Kira Cass. Thoughts Matter by Mary Margaret Funk. Do Penguins Have Knees and Other Imponderables, The Mysteries of Everyday Life, explained by David Feldman. The End of Day by Claire North. Someone Has to Die by Jim Baton. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. The Art of Baking Blind by Sarah Vaughan, I think that's how you say her name. The Jungeren Bible, which is a Bible for teens in Dutch. Plain Truth by Jodie Picoult. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. And Voyager by Diana Gavaldon. Moving on to the green, blues, and blues. Starting off with Money Making by Terry Pratchett. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. Wicked Lovely by Marissa Marr. A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Girl in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. Shoot Down the Windy Bird by Julie Santapalos. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler. The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. My True Love Gave to Me, an anthology edited by Stephanie Perkins. Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo. This is just a dust jacket because a friend of mine is out borrowing the actual book. 19 Minutes by Jodie Picoult. The Other Queen by Philippa Gregory. The Fiery Cross by Diana Gabaldon. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Pines by Billy Crouch and Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. Moving to the left again, we have Crest by Marissa Meyer, The School for Good and Evil by Sunan Chinani, Cross Like Night by Sarah Rosh, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, Unbreakable by Elizabeth Norris, The Prodigal Son by John MacArthur, A Quarter of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, Free to Trade by Michael Ridpath, Snuff by Terry Pratchett, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, Hollowed by Cynthia Hand, Gemina by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Vanishing Acts by Jodie Picoult. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon. The Selection by Kira Cass. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. The Pact by Jodie Picoult. Room by Emma Donahue. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. And Handle with Care by Jodie Picoult. Moving on to this middle shelf where I slowly make my way into the purples. Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. The Air and the Crown by Kira Cass. Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Between the Lines by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. 
The Land of Stories, The Enchanter's Returns by Chris Colfer. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk. Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovic. And lastly on the shelves we go into the pinks and then I have my Harry Potter books because those are multicolored and they don't fit anywhere. Kraken by China Mayville. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. The Message, The Old Testament Prophets by Eugene Peterson. Boundless by Cynthia Hands. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. Destiny by Sally Buman. Small Great Things by Jodie Picoult. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And lastly, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, all by J.K. Rowling. All right, those are all my books. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. And if you have yourself a bookshelf tour on your channel, leave it in the comments below so I can go check it out because I love watching them, mostly because I just love adding books to my wish list. But you know, we all have the same problems. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.